often say on this show that our police officers don't get enough credit for the successes that they have, for the really good things they do. Well, we want to show you another one. When a state trooper in Vermont jumped into a frozen pond in frigid temperatures to save a drowning little girl. The video was just released of the incident. It happened last month in Cambridge, Vermont, when two sisters, a six-year-old and an eight-year-old, were playing on a pond before the ice cracked. They fell into the freezing water. The six-year-old was pulled to safety by the homeowner, but her sister was too far out and was submerged in the water. That's when Vermont State Trooper Michelle Archer arrived and without hesitation, jumped into the icy water. This is her body cam footage of the incident. Archer's fellow trooper, Keith Cody, gave the girl life-saving first aid before she was taken to the University of Vermont Medical Center, where she made a full recovery. Both troopers, Archer and Cody, have been recommended to receive the Vermont State Police Life-Saving Award. Joining me now is that trooper, Vermont State Trooper Michelle Archer. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. Wow. What a moment that was. Um, first, talk to us about the call that you received, what did you know when you were arriving on the scene? Uh, when we first got the call, I knew um, at least one child had fallen into the water. We weren't sure if there was more, um, and we weren't sure at that point if anybody was deceased yet. How cold was the water? Um, afterwards, I, I was told it was around 40 degrees, but at the time, I had no idea. And no hesitation going in you're looking at the water you're seeing the the the, the frozen part no hesitation uh no sir i mean i knew i knew that time was of the essence and i knew i had to get her out of the water as quick as possible um so i just you know acted and went in and when you arrived when you got to her she was submerged in the water correct yeah, I didn't actually really notice until I myself watched the video, but it did look like her head was um, submerged, but there were still parts of her body that were just floating right on top. Wow. Do you know how she's doing? Have you heard uh, the latest update? Um, the latest update came shortly after, maybe a couple days after, uh, that she was released from the hospital with you know no lasting medical effects or no effects of hypothermia. Wow. Are you gonna hoping to say hi at some point? I think it's in the near future that we'll we'll be able to reconnect. And have you been, I assume, in touch with uh, with her family? I I hope that they've been, uh, and I'm, I assume, presume that they've been incredibly appreciative. I yes, I would think so. Um, again, we haven't quite reconnected yet, but um, I think we'll be in touch um, pretty soon. Yeah, I, I would assume this is one of those moments where. You know, it's it's nice to get the appreciation that police officers often don't get uh, in this country 
for the work that they do every day? Uh, it is. It's 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 good for law enforcement in general. Of course, you know, I'll say, and I'm sure we've heard before, it's not why we do the job, but yep. um, it's part of the job, and, and that's what we signed up for. Wow. Well, look, thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for what you did. We really appreciate it, and uh, that, was, that was something. Um, so uh, good luck, and uh, we look forward to getting an update once you get to, uh, to meet with a little girl. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.